I gave Steph Curry a 99 dunk to prove he'd be the greatest player of all time. As you can see, I gave him a 99 standing dunk and a 99 driving dunk, and it raised his overall up to a 99 overall. Today, we're going to find out what would happen if the greatest three-point shooter of all time developed the greatest driving game of all time. We're going to go ahead and simulate the season and see what happens. So as usual, Luka Doncic wins MVP, and Steve Kerr wins Coach of the Year, and we won 60 games this year with Steph Curry having a 99 dunk. So as you can see, Steph Curry averaged 30 points per game this season with six rebounds and six assists. And in the first round here, we're going to be playing against Damian Lillard in the Portland Trailblazers. We take game one. We take game two. The Portland Trailblazers take game three. It's two to two. Wow, I'm actually surprised. And the Trailblazers are up two, three. This is not looking good. So we just tied it up. We have a game seven here. Let's go ahead and see who takes it. And we take down the Trailblazers in seven games. That was way closer than it should have been. Let's go ahead and check out what happened in game seven. So Curry put up 27 points and nine assists. And Lillard just didn't shoot well enough for them to win. And as you can see here in the second round, we have Zion Williamson and the New Orleans Pelicans. This is a very good team that we're going against. So let's go ahead and see if we can take them down. We take game one. The Pelicans take game two. We take game three. Pelicans take game four. The Pelicans take game five. We take game six. So we have another game seven. This is crazy. Let's go ahead and hop into the game and see what happens. So as you can see, there's 29 seconds left and the Warriors are down by two in game seven. We need to go ahead and close this out for the Warriors, man. Steph for three. Green. And the Warriors are up one with 21 seconds left, man. With the season on the line, the Warriors need a stop here. There's 15 seconds left. They're up by one. Any basket will make the Pelicans win. Five seconds left. Valanchun is to Ingram. Dyson Daniels from the corner. He misses it. And the Warriors win. So the Warriors are going to the conference finals. They win by one point in a very close game seven. Steph Curry went insane. He put up 57 points. Having that 99 dunk made a huge difference. Curry went off tonight. So in the conference finals here, we have the Dallas Mavericks with the MVP and Luka Doncic. And over in the East, we have Tatum and Brown and the Celtics going up against the Cavaliers with Donovan Mitchell. Let's go ahead and see what happens here, man. The Warriors take game one. We also take game two. Dallas takes game three. We're up 3-1. The Dallas Mavericks take game five. The Mavericks take game six. And then the Warriors are in another game seven. And the Warriors luckily take game seven. This is way too close for comfort, man. And it looks like the Warriors will be playing against the Celtics in the NBA Finals. But it's crazy that the Warriors went to seven games in every series so far. This has been one of the toughest playoff runs of all time. We take game one. We take game two. We take game three. The Celtics take game four. So it's 3-1. Let's go ahead and hop into game five and see if we can close it out. So as you can see, there's two and a half minutes left and we're up by 44 points. This is insane. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a contact dunk with Steph Curry. Wow. Oh my God. Robert Williams just got put on a poster by Steph Curry. That's just not fair that Curry can do that. So the greatest shooter of all time has now developed the greatest dunking game of all time. Let's go ahead and see if we can do it again. Oh my, that just wouldn't be fair. Steph Curry can now shoot from the logo and dunk over anybody. He would easily be the greatest player of all time. So the Warriors are NBA champions yet again. Steph Curry getting a 99 dunk would make him the greatest player of all time. His ability to shoot the three like nobody else in league history, combined with an ability to now dunk the ball at a high level, would just make him would just make him an unstoppable force on the offensive end. And nobody would be able to beat the Warriors at all. They would win the championship every single year. And of course, finals MVP goes to Steph Curry. So in the closeout game here, Steph Curry put up 48 points with 7 rebounds and 6 assists. It's actually impossible to guard a Curry that can drive and dunk on you whenever he wants and pull up from the logo whenever he wants as well. Now guys, I make content like this all the time, every single day. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you like this type of content. Like the video and comment the word loyal if you have made it this far into the video. So if you made it this far into the video, comment the word loyal. Also, let me know what video ideas you guys want to see me do next. And I'm out of here, boys. Peace out. Love y'all.